to go and sort out my CP test oh like I was saying what I'm trying to do today is to go get a test date because I've literally been sending these people mails since like 19th of November just to get the test date and it's been not show sure. and the stories that I've been hearing online is that there are no test dates available so a friend of a friend kind of told me that she, that she went to the place and just also out a test date from them so I'm hoping to do the same today I really hope I'm able to get the test date today because I, I took um, a day off last week from work. I'm taking on that day off today. I feel like it's my bad issue at some point. So I just need to, this day to just be productive, basically. I just need to get something done. And yeah. So at this point, let me give you guys a load of what has been done. My school fees has been paid. Yes. Um, my school fees were debited from my accounts yesterday. So I'm going to. I'm going to get a telex because my sister helped me in processing the transaction so I just feel like send me the telex so I can upload it on my portal so the school can see my payments or track my payments anyhow I'm just happy that one has gone because that was on that ethic like I, I just didn't want to even go through because the deadline for my payments is 19th of this month so I'm just happy it has gone it went yesterday so I know the time frame between when they would track my payments should not take more than like a couple of days at, at most so i think i'm good on the deposit issue so there's this where i am on my transact on my on this whole process that's where i am on my process just trying to i'm just trying to make everything happen concurrently so um you see i'm good so nothing is like wasting my time because the only thing i can see now that my bad hindrance is this test if i don't get it tested like to be an issue Anyways, yeah, basically that's where I'm at right now. Just taking it one step at a time, seeing how it goes. Yeah. So, anyways, I think that should be all. Don't let me make this too long. Yeah. Bye. So yeah, we're asked to write our names, our email address, we had to queue, we had to wait for a very long time before they came to attend to us. We're not even allowed to go inside, we had to stand outside, as you can see, it's on the street, just to write our names and our email address and hope that they will eventually send us a test date later in the day. Hi, people of the world. Yeah, so welcome to another day. Um, today is my TV test day. You know, that day I told you guys I was going to go and get a test date. No, the story for that day. I was supposed to come back and make tell you guys what happened. So basically, what happened that day was in the previous clip where I went to. <laughs> this one is so far. In the previous clip where I went to do my, I went to get a test date for my TB test. They told me to write my details. They were going to send us a mail that same day, giving us a date, right? But this is why I have trust issues. You guys, if you see me, that I have trust issues. This is why. Uh, trust issues because people just don't keep to the words like I don't understand it. So, anyways, after they got our names, our uh, details down, I went back home thinking because somebody had told me prior that that same thing she did and she was able to get the test date. So I, I had no reason to doubt them, right? But I was still feeling some type of way about it because that is just where I am. I don't trust people. I don't trust, especially Nigerians and they back and forth. I don't trust people like that. So, um. I think one reason why I did not trust the guy was because he said, when I told him when I was supposed to return, he said, Oh, you still have time. Like, who says that for TB test? Because TB test, you have to book, like, to get a test date is always crazy. Like, and it's literally November already. So I'm coming November, I'm supposed to go January before I apply for my stuff, it's still December. But you're telling me I still have time. So, because of that comment he made, even when he told me that, Oh, I should write my name, he's going to give me a test date today. I still, I still did not trust that he was going to give me a test date that day. And I was right because I went home that day and I did not get a test date. Like I literally waited all day and I was so mad because as you guys know, I took time. I took like a day off work for that and it just became like, it just stopped to be a very useless day for me. So that day I did not get a test date. And I knew that if I did not get it that day, the possibility of me getting a second day was very slim. So what I did was I called very early in the morning by nine o'clock. I called them and I just like, the customer care that picked up like she added because i just wanted around so 
She's not like, okay, she calmed down that she's going to give me a test in now. I told me I did not see the notes just I was like, mm, so like she's already booking in. Because I already sent them my details before, which is my passport before. So she just checked, she just asked me for my email address. I think she just searched it on their store and she saw my details. So she didn't need me to send anything again to her. So um just saw my details and she just just telling me that she's booking it right now. That's I'm going to get a, a, a mail as soon as I drop the call. Which, and then yeah, like almost like five minutes after I call, I just got a mail and then I got my test date. So you guys I got it tested for November November 16, which is today. So that's my story of how I got my test date. But anyways, it's November 16 now. And you know the time they gave me? You guys, five o'clock PM. I don't know who they think they are deceiving because five o'clock PM they close by five. So I don't know if they want me to come by the closing time. I have no idea what they're trying to do. Anyway, so that's it. That's how I got my TV test dates. So I forgot to add on my school fees. The school is actually in my school fees now. So I guess that is one or two that is out of the way. Because the school fees, the deadline for when I'm supposed to see the school fees actually ends this week, which is on the 19th. So by the 19th, if your school fees are not going to the school, basically they'll take back the offer. But there you go, mine on the 9th, which was last week. I was so excited because it didn't stress me at all and also my M MQ, MQ is like a questionnaire, like a visa um, like a visa um, questionnaire that your school gives you to my own school, other schools I don't know how they work, I know that school they do pre-cast interview, my school does not do pre-cast interview, so what they do is like a questionnaire where you just answer, basically those questions are asked in pre-cast interview, um, just answer it, like just type it and submit it and you have to, they, are, they will check for um, what they call this thing. Okay, so you can't copy online, you have to find a way to just manipulate it because I'm not accepted working on my own. And the deadline for this questionnaire is next week, which is 26. But I don't have a plan to do any last minute work, so my plan is when I get back from my um, CV test thingy, I'm just going to come home and work on it like a FR. Like, but I'll need a lot of people to help me put free deeds and make sure it's good and it's up to the standard of what they want, so I don't want to fuck myself in the foot. But, anyways, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now, you guys. Like, I feel like I say, oh, I'm doing this thing, I'm doing this thing, but my brain has not really assimilated the fact that I'm actually doing this thing. It's just me not showing excitement or thinking to the plain to things, but in a way I am, because you can't help it. Like, it's not excitement, it's just like this fear of, please let nothing go wrong. Oh God, please let nothing go wrong, let nothing go wrong. Um, it's always, you can't help but feel excitement because there's some things you need to do. Um, like I said, there are some processes or some things you need to do some commitments you have to make so don't how you excitement it's not excitement it's just you have to invest and so i feel like i'm in a stage where i don't want to invest my emotions into things because i feel like what if it doesn't work out like i'm not feeling sad because my emotions right now is just just trying to protect my mental health protect my peace of mind but with this process you just have to get invested and just pray to god and hope to god that everything works out as you plan it you guys it is one o'clock and it's just now i'm dressed and ready to go uh, for my test, don't be like me, go heavy because I don't know what is wrong with me. Anyway, I did a transfer from one of my accounts to the other account I want to use to pay for my test. That is basically why I've wasted it this much time. Then it's yet to reflect in the other account, and it's been more than an hour. I don't understand how long it takes for bank transfer to reflect, and I need to make payment from make payments from my medicals from that account. So I need my just got an alert from my for the transfer I did. So it took like literally three or hour, two hours ish to get it. Like you guys, I can't even start to be mad. I need to like get out of here because now I'm here and there is something that's going on at the stadium. There's something going on at the stadium and it's going to be traffic. So I want to make sure I'm out of Sulawesi, like the whole of Sulawesi, before it even gets close to the time. Like I need to be out of here, like ASAP. So when I got to the venue, they gave me this form. It just basically answer some crucial questions about your health history the crowd here was massive like the people that want to jackpot in this country they are mad <laughs> a lot of people here like i now understood that they gave me five o'clock like the crowd this time i got here was like around three and if you see the crowd anyways um i i i joined the queue i maneuvered i was able to get to this sitting area even here i thought maybe i've entered i don't know that all these places are just processes for you to actually get to the real place after audio work about queuing up and down i finally got to this stage so this is the stage where you're just waiting to do your um x-ray which is what tells them if you have tuberculosis or not so basically the weight was massive like massive um my number was 308 like 
by this time it was like around six or something what am i talking about by this time it was around like two seven or something and this time i was number three or eight and trust me it was not even encouraging at all this process just like i just usually pity people that come with their families and children because the children are always tired and they want to play and imagine how exhausted i was so imagine if me having a child that is just stopping me and wanting to just leave like i do not have it like families that come to do this thing together but anyways i was just waiting and waiting and waiting like i, I was so frustrated here yeah, because it was late i had to go back home i do like it staying in keja at night because it keja traffic can be mad sometimes like it's very unpredictable like i don't like being inside the keja late at night and i'll see 308 as you guys can see 308 anyways i i just stayed here to just you know calm myself down i made some new friends yeah and that was it basically hi guys so it is um like literally is it o'clock and i'm still here i've still not done my x-ray so um yeah basically like i don't even know what to do thank god i took my leave during this period so i don't have to go to work tomorrow the time now is eight and i'm saying i'm not done my x-ray i'm in number 308 and they are on 265 last time i checked so that's still like a long way. That is almost like 40 something people that will still have to get the x-ray done before I do. And there's still more people waiting to get the x-ray done. Like I see more people waiting like behind me. I'm sure there are people still waiting in the waiting room to even have the one along with the doctor that I did earlier before they even come in. Like I'm looking at the room now and it's so crowded. I don't know. I don't know if it's poor planning or fuck. Like I don't know why they give us an appointment for five o'clock that didn't make any sense but it is what it is nigeria will always be nigeria so uh, i don't know you guys just keep watching because i'm literally tired i've not had anything to eat all day the only thing i've had is them chips and yogurt that's all i have had all day all every day um yeah so basically that's it uh, i'll check in soon i guess bye Look at here, I was eventually able to leave by 9, past 9-ish. That's when I was through with my x-ray. And funny enough, the x-ray did not even take... It's like doing the x-ray itself took less than 5 minutes per person. Like, it was so... They were so fast with doing the x-ray. So, I think it's poor planning of getting people to the venue and not even organizing people well. That's what delayed because I literally spent less than 5 minutes in that room and I was out. Like, they were pretty fast with the x-ray itself. But I just think it's a crowd and planning was just off. But anyways, I left like past nine-ish. Yeah, I just went back home. I was tired. Like, I was exhausted on this day. Um, Usually, for a TB test, you're supposed to get your results on the same day. On the same day. But because of the time we finished, like past nine, like nobody's going to process your results by past nine. So they told me to come back the next day by 11 o'clock in the morning to get my results so i don't even mind all i care about is you know what i've shut down this thing i'll come back and get it i don't even mind so yeah basically that's what happened hi guys it's the next day so i'm going to get my results i couldn't get it today because of the time i finished they told me to come today by 11 time now is to 11 i'm not running late my uber guy or my boat guy is outside that guy will literally swear for me because i took like almost 15 minutes anyway i have to do a quick check in yeah, I'm going now. Bye. Sorry. All I'm going to say, these people have a weird concept of time. They just think you have nothing better to do with your life than to come and stand there and be collecting results. They literally wasted our time for hours. People were arguing with the organizers, as you can see. The woman on white is one of the organizers. I see people are just arguing with her because... The way they were doing this was so archaic. They were just calling names, calling names. Like they had results, results kept coming up, but they didn't know how to, you know, dispense it faster. It was just a terrible, terrible day. But anyways, we stayed there for hours before we finally got our results. So yeah, this is my results. I do not have to be, thank God. So yeah. <laughs> yeah you guys, I just got home. Oh, this is done. Let me do my happy dance. Like I thought I was always going to breeze in, breeze out. You guys, these people are moving mad. Like. Literally, I don't know if it's because of the time, because it's November now, so most people want to travel and stuff. So maybe it's because of that. I don't know, but they're just doing shit today. But anyways, um, Nigerians, they're always disorganized, like, to get shit done. Some, some that is not supposed to take that long, it's take forever and ever and ever. 
So yeah, I don't think they need to work more on the management because the process of getting results, calling people's names, it's not realistic. Like, mm-mm. so we can move on to another stage. Like, I can just dump this thing. I'm not dumping it through, but I just keep it somewhere. But when everything else clicks, so right now the only thing I spend it is my MQ, like I said, um, which is my mandatory questionnaire, my POF to mature, which is to not mature next week. This is going to be the end of the vlog. So thank you for sticking with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, like is a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, that's very important. And comment on my comment section. Let me see what you think. You know, just add, just comment. I just want you to comment in my, in my comment section. If you have something you want to add, have something you want to tell me, just literally comment. Okay, I think I'm done for this vlog. I'm just going to try to edit this now and just keep this somewhere. Let's see. I have to upload. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you in my next one. Bye.